Mankato, Minnesota, for years home of the Minnesota Vikings summer camp, where this quiet town is revived each July and August. This summer was a particularly special one in Mankato, and even the heavens seemed to sense it. The summer of 72, the return to Minnesota, Francis Asbury Talkington. It is the team that I most want to play on. This is where my heart is. My closest friends in football have been always right here. Coming back now, I see a team that was growing then, and I want desperately bad to just contribute something to this football team in a positive way. Well, Taron Tarkin brings experience. He's been a regular quarterback in this league as long as he's been here. And experience is probably the, the main ingredient that he possesses today. The Fran Talkington experience started in the frozen Minnesota Northland 12 years ago. Under the heavy hand of coach Norm Van Brocklin, and with an expansion team of little experience or talent, Tarkington labored under enormous internal pressure to succeed, and an even greater pressure from his opponents. six wild and unpredictable seasons, Talkington did more than any other man to popularize pro football in Minnesota, often seeming more like a Hollywood actor testing for the lead in The Great Escape. Tarkington had left an indelible mark on Minnesota, but was deemed a loser. The Big Apple had big plans for Fran. But both his New York coaches, Ali Sherman and Alex Webster, were rebuilding, and neither surrounded number 10 with strong support. With a weak defense, Tarkington once again was practically all his team had going for it. Personally, though, they were good years for Tarkington. His pure passing ability seemed to improve in New York to the point where he now ranks fifth on the all-time passing charts. Though Tarkington won the hearts of Fun City fans, New York kept losing, and number 10 spent too much time heading for the nearest exit. frustrating years behind him, Fran was reprieved at the end of the 71 season. He now opens the door to a new career with an old team and a new coach. I think Bud has his own ideas. They've been tried and tested, and uh, they've worked. He believes in the importance of every individual on the team, every person in the organization. He doesn't uh, try to lay blame on a defeat, just on one person and over pressure any one person because he doesn't want any one person to think he's more important to that football team than somebody else is and uh, that's the attitude of, uh, of this football team it's built a, a good winning attitude it's a happy happy feeling for me and a very good feeling for me to be on be a part of something that has a legitimate chance to win everything there is to win and i've never been on the team in my 11 years that i could say that about honestly when the season started well, Fran Tarkenton has been wheeling, dealing, and dazzling the world of pro football for 11 years. And even though he may not have to dig as deeply into his bag of magic this time around, chances are he will. One thing is clear. A smile on Coach Bud Grant's face should be more than an infrequent occurrence this season. But Fran Tarkington has returned home for his latest chance, perhaps his last chance, and most certainly his best chance to achieve the only thing that really matters to him now, to be a part of...